My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another Madden video for you guys. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about pretty much NFL Combine predictions. Like, what I expect to come based off of last year, of course, and how you guys can prepare for it. Since they haven't really been talking a whole lot about updates or anything like that right now, I'm predicting that NFL Combines is going to be the next promo up. So, typically, guys, when promos like this come out, right, we see a lot of changes with the market, a lot of changes with the store, a lot of changes with solos, all that. So, we already know how all that generally works, right? So, we already know that NFL Combines, like I said, which is something I'm predicting to drop, don't know for sure, but the next promo I am going to guess is going to be NFL Combine. But again, you guys will see the training store. It will change a lot. Probably theme diamond sets will be gone. Team of the Year stuff will be gone. All this stuff will probably be gone and they'll be implementing NFL Combine players. So like the 97 overall Combine players are probably going going for X amount of training. They'll probably, this will, it'll probably be like a kind of a copy and paste kind of thing. I don't, it might not be an 85 overall like NFL combine player, but it might be something like that 85 plus or 84 plus who knows and of course They'll probably change these around maybe some lower tier ones like a 80 plus overall NFL combine player something like that, you know, so they'll probably change a lot of these out And of course you guys know for solo challenges. They'll change those out make them different and They'll might do some house rule stuff. Maybe I wouldn't see why they wouldn't, but I'm going to guess that they're going to be doing some house rules stuff when house rules drops again. I'll probably be more so for the NFL combine. Now, of course, they'll have the sets. They'll probably have sets somewhat like, like get X amount of, get a 84, get a 86, get a 90, a 93, and a 95 NFL combine player for a master. Okay very very simple i can't really relate it to any sets probably except uh maybe kind of like ultimate legends without having the exact same player they'll probably do like if this dickerson the 97 dickerson is like a 97 nfl combine player they'll probably need like an 87 here of like a different player so it might be a uh, like a 85 and then you'll need a 89 and so on and so forth all the way through and then you'll be able to, you, I'm pretty sure they won't make those players, these players here. They probably won't be Nat, so you probably won't get these players back Nat if I had to guess. Because I'm pretty sure those players that you're putting into that set can go into the other sets too. So once you put those players in the sets, I'm pretty sure they're going to be gone for the remainder of that time. But as far as players' predictions, now, if I had to guess, you'll probably see... Something like maybe a Vita Vea. He still has the record for most bench press uh, for the combine. You'll probably see, you know, your Byron Jones, who was a combine warrior. You'll probably see Chris Johnson, who normally always makes an appearance in the combine as an upgrade for the combine promo. He always makes an appearance as a upgrade. You'll probably see, you know, other things like Patrick Peterson made an appearance last year. Luke Keekly, he made an appearance last year, but Luke Keekly, I'm pretty sure his promo, his stuff is done. So, again, I, yeah, Luke Keekly won't be in the game this year. Well, I'm not going to say he's not. He's in the game, but he's not getting any more upgrades. So, you'll probably see players like that. Again, I would imagine they might drop some low-tier ones, like John Ross. He is the current 40-yard dash um, holder. He does still hold that record, so he'll probably have like a low tier, like a 99 speed, something like that. If I had to guess, that's what he'll get. But um, Chris Johnson might be a master or something like that, like a 97 overall. Because, again, he's only a 95 right now base. So, if I, I had to guess, he might get that plus two overall. Since, like I said, he always does make an appearance in the game. Who knows, they might, they might even bump him to a 98. They might bump the NFL Combine players to a 98. I don't know. But, you know, I'm just guessing as it is. But, again, 
you know, it's it's possible because right now he's a what ninety four. Okay, so they might keep it at ninety seven. I didn't realize his his card, his Blitz promo card was a ninety four. So yeah, they're more than likely they'll keep it to a ninety seven. He'll probably get a ninety seven, probably like a ninety nine speed, ninety seven acceleration kind of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised by that. And again, obviously, like I said, Vita Vea, I'm pretty sure it'll be the actual Vita Vea, not this out of position crap. But anyways, as far as that's concerned, other pl other players that I feel like that might be coming into the game, pretty much maybe Clowney. Clowney hasn't gotten an upgrade like all year. Like he, the only thing he's gotten was the, I forgot what the promo was called. But it's like a very, I think Kittle got something like it, and um, what's his name got something like it. Yeah, this card. What is this? I don't even. I forgot what this promo is called. It's the. Was this the Team Heroes? I don't know where I would see it. I my Redux is item completes the set and fire up. Nope. I'm thinking this is the Team Heroes thing. From uh, from a little bit ago. So, uh, Mutt Heroes, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, I think this is the Mutt Heroes limited time stuff here. So, again, he could possibly be getting a card since he's very, he was very good in the combine. You know, speed-wise, strength-wise, he he was a freak in the combine. So, and he hasn't had an upgrade in a long time, so I could see him getting one. So, I wouldn't be surprised by that. You know, and again, like I said, Brian Jones will get one. Vita Vea, John Ross, maybe some other low-tier ones might get one. But as it is, those those are my personal predictions on who I think will be in the Combine promo. You guys let me know in the comment section below who do you guys think will also be in the Combine promo. But again, those are the changes that I'm looking for them to make. Mainly, it's just going to be stored, the training stuff. So if you guys are big and getting glitchy with being in the training store and you know using your training and getting good pulls out of that, you know, guys, make sure you guys stack up your training because it's going to be a... Very, very interesting promo for sure. A lot of things are going to change in the market, so be prepared for that. So make sure you guys get your coins up, get your trophies up if you need to sell them off for touchdown packs. Do all that stuff now because you don't want to be behind the eight ball when it comes time for for the combine players to drop. And you're like, dang, I got no training, I ain't got no coins, I ain't got nothing for this promo. And then all these players are running, all the combine players are running around glitchy as hell, like... I remember last year, they dropped this, uh, I hope I say his name right, Daniil Hunter. I don't know if it's, I think it's Daniil Hunter. They dropped him last year as a combine player. This man's speed, I think he had like 90 speed, 99 finesse. It was the absolute dumbest card I have ever seen. Like, it was ridiculous how beastly his card was. You want something like that on your team, alright? So... You want that, like, ASAP. So, you guys, make sure you prepare for this stuff and get ready. By the way, keep in mind, for your your Ultimate Legends, I believe you should be at 8 tokens right now. So, make sure you guys are staying on top of this stuff because you don't want to miss out on the free UL. I personally don't, especially with how expensive these ULs are and how many ULs for the Raiders theme team keep coming out. It's it's pretty crazy right now. So guys, make sure you're staying on top of that Ultimate Legend. So as you guys can see, I have eight. So make sure you guys are staying on top of that. Cause once these things are gone, man, that that's it. You miss one, that's it. You might as well just miss the rest of them. Cause you ain't getting, you're not getting a UL player. I'm telling you, a free UL player. I'm telling you that right now. So make sure you guys stay on top of that. But anyways, guys, those are my predictions as far as the NFL Combine coming. Those are my predictions for the players. You guys let me know in the comment section below who do you guys think will be coming to the NFL Combine. And on top of that, since since this promo, well not promo, but since right now it was kind of slow, maybe until they start bringing out some information about the NFL Combine. Again, like I said, I'm predicting that the next thing they're going to be dropping, the next big thing they're going to be dropping is the NFL Combine. But if it is the NFL Combine, things are slow right now up until that point. And I don't want to bore you guys or tire you guys out with the gameplays and stuff. But if you guys do want to see gameplays, please comment down below. Just put in gameplay, whatever. All right, just let me know in the comment section below. 
I'll go ahead and shoot you guys out a gameplay. The only reason I haven't, I don't consistently do it is because I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with it or tire gameplays out on this channel for you guys. So you get, you get what I'm saying? But just let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to see gameplays, let me know. And let me know who do you, what players do you guys predict would be in the NFL Combine. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, join the family support. It means a lot. Till the next one, guys. Peace.